Hey guys, what is going on? Anthony here with Pistons Talk. In today's video, I thought we could take a look at point guards the Pistons could target in free agency. As you guys can see, I have narrowed it down to six potential point guards I believe that your Detroit Pistons are going to target. So we're going to be looking at Fred Van Vliet. As you guys can see, he's going to be an unrestricted free agent, put up 18 points a game, 3.9 rebounds, and 7 assists. In my opinion, Fred Van Vliet is the best overall point guard on this list, and he's probably going to cost you the most money. Um, as you guys know, the Pistons have been linked to him for quite some time, and I feel the only reason why we have been linked to him is because of Dwayne Casey and you know him formerly coaching the Raptors. Now you may be thinking, well, how much would a point guard like Van Vliet cost the Pistons? In my opinion, now this is just my opinion, I think anywhere from 7 to $15 million. I think Fred is going to want to get paid. You guys, this is a guy that went undrafted, and he's here to prove himself. Putting up 18 points and 7 assists, that is very good. Now to me, he's strictly a bench or a sixth man type player for a team. He's not a starting caliber point guard. And you may be thinking, well, Anthony, look, he put up 18 and 7. Yeah, that's fantastic. He put up 18 and 7. But let's talk about how the Pistons took a bench point guard and tried to convert him into a starting point guard. Do you guys remember that? Reggie Jackson. Reggie Jackson was doing the same thing in Oklahoma City that Fred Van Vliet was doing for the Raptors. Now, Reggie didn't win a championship like Van Vliet, and, you know, he didn't have... You know, all the playoff success Van Vliet had, Reggie got drafted, but it's very similar. Reggie was putting up, you know, similar stats to Van Vliet. He was putting up like 18 points in almost nine assists with Oklahoma City when Russell Westbrook was injured during that 2014 season. Van Vliet is doing the same thing right here. He's putting up 18 points and seven assists. So the Pistons are going to have to be smart. They don't want to make the same mistake they made with Reggie Jackson. You do not want to pay a guy like Van Vliet over $10 million to try to convert him into a starting point guard. He's capable of starting games, but he's not a point guard you're going to want to build around if you're the Pistons. So let's say your Pistons cannot make a deal with Fred Van Vliet. Who's going to be my second choice? My number two choice is going to be Jeff Teague. Much like Van Vliet, he's going to be an unrestricted free agent. This season, he put up 13.3 points a game and 6.2 assists per game. Jeff Teague spent his season with the Minnesota Timberwolves, eventually got traded to the Atlanta Hawks. Atlanta was looking for a backup point guard for Trey Young. I feel Jeff Teague is in a stage of his career where he's not concerned with starting anymore. You could play him off the bench. But he is capable of starting if you do need him to start. Um, he's not going to cost you as much as a Van Vliet either. You could probably get away with 4 to $8 million for uh, Jeff T. To me, he's the best floor general on this list. He's very good in transition. And, you know, he can get to the basket. The only knock on him is probably going to be his age. And his defense is getting worse as he gets older. But overall, Jeff Teague would be my second choice if the Pistons cannot land Van Vliet. So let's say your Pistons strike out on Van Vliet. They strike out on Teague. Who is going to be my third option? My third option is going to be Goran Dragic of the Miami Heat. Much like Van Vliet and Teague, unrestricted free agent. Put up very good stats this season. 15.6 points per game and 5 assists per game with the Heat. Now, Dragic to me... It's much like Teague, he's kind of in the same age group. He's older, but what I like about Dragic's game is his ability to run the pick and roll offense. He's very crafty, will pass the ball if he does get double teamed or gets blitzed in a pick and roll situation. The only downside on him is going to be the money you're going to have to pay him to sway him away from the Miami Heat. His defense is getting a lot worse as he gets older. And his age, like I mentioned, he's a little bit older, and I don't know how much longer he's going to play in the NBA, but if you cannot land a Van Vliet, you can't land a Teague, Dragic would be my third option. Let's say your Pistons can't land a Van Vliet, 
They can't land a Teague, and they can't land a Dragic. Who's going to be my fourth option for your Pistons? It's going to be Isaiah Thomas. Now, Isaiah Thomas started the season with Washington, eventually did get traded, uh, landed the Clippers. I thought the Clippers were going to hang on to him. Eventually got waived from the Clippers. Um, as you guys can see this season, put up 12.4 points per game, 4 assists. In my opinion, you guys, best offensive point guard on this list. The Pistons are looking for offense at that point guard position or a spark off the bench. Isaiah Thomas will be their guy. Now, I know some fans will probably say, well, defensively, he's going to be a liability. You know what? You're 100% right. That's a risk you're going to have to take if you're going to sign a guy like Thomas. But the bright spot with that is you're not going to have to pay him a whole lot. You could probably get away with anywhere from 3 to $7 million dollars for Isaiah Thomas. To me, he's a guy that is probably going to try to prove himself to try to get a bigger contract with another team, and the Pistons can fully take advantage of that. So Isaiah Thomas would be my fourth option for the Pistons. So let's say your Pistons can't land a deal with the Van Vliet, a Teague, a Dragic, or a Thomas. Who would be my fifth option? My fifth option is going to be Chris Dunn, from the Houston Rockets. Now Chris Dunn is a restricted free agent, so Houston can match any offer that the Pistons or any other NBA team does offer him. Looking at his stats for this season, 7.2 points a game and two steals per game at the point guard position. That two steals to me really jumps out. It tells me he moves his feet and he has very active hands on the defensive end. Now you may be thinking, why would the Pistons want to sign a point guard? like Chris Dunn when all these other point guards are established offensively. That's a very valid point, but your Pistons are in a rebuild. And to me, Chris Dunn is still relatively young. He's a point guard. Coach Dwayne Casey and his staff can try to develop over the next couple seasons during this rebuild. And you could take a gamble on a guy like Chris Dunn and you probably don't have to pay him a lot of money. You could probably get away with probably three to six million dollars for Chris Dunn. So Chris Dunn would be my fifth option if you can't land any of, any of the other point guards on this list. So if the Pistons strike out and all these options I have listed, like a Van Vliet, a Teague, a Dragic, a Thomas, and a Dunn, DJ Augustine would be my last resort if I'm the Pistons. He's a guy that's not gonna cost you a lot of money. Could probably get away with like $5 million per year. As you guys can see, unrestricted free agent, put up 10.7 points per game and 4.7 assists with the Orlando Magic. I feel he's going to want to re-sign with another team. As you guys know, Orlando traded for Markel Fultz, and he's going to be their point guard of the future. There's no debating that. Um, DJ's probably going to look for a new opportunity with a new team, and you're probably not going to have to pay a lot for a guy like DJ Augustine. Probably could get away with $5 million dollars but he would be my last option for the Pistons if they can't land any of these guys. Let me know what you guys think of this list. If you do agree with it, let me know down in the comment section, but maybe you don't agree with it. Maybe there's a guy in here I did not list that the Pistons should pursue in free agency at the point guard position. Definitely let me know down in the comment section, and I will talk to you guys there. Hope you're staying safe. Take care.